Hey, what's going on? Jacob here, the GHL King, coming at you with an awesome video on how to create animations on your text inside of Go High Level. So, as many of you know, Go High Level does not allow for you to natively create animations in your text or your sections or anything like that. So what we are going to do in this video is we're gonna break down how I used Chat GPT. Awesome tool, we'll talk about it a little bit, but how I use Chat GPT to create code, to create animations inside of Go High Level and how you can copy that and use them inside of your own funnels and your own websites that you build inside of High Level. So if you are not familiar with Chat GPT, it's absolutely insane. I mean, this thing is, uh, is revolutionizing how the digital world is going to work. One of the best examples I can give is I asked it a simple question of how can I create text animations in HTML using CSS and it spit back code to me. And the code it spit back to me was off in one sense that I didn't like, which we may see. And I was like, hey, can you fix this? And it fixed it, it sent me the updated code. I mean, ChatGPT is absolutely insane. If you're not using it yet, I highly, highly urge for you to test it out on your own, uh, whether you use it for yourself or for business, just to see where the future is really going with automation and with AI. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna dive in on the computer here and I'm going to ask ChatGPT that simple question of how can I create animated text in HTML using CSS? We're gonna spit this in and it's gonna give us an answer back. So the way that it is teaching us to do this is with keyframes. And what it spit to me was the cycling between the colors red, orange, green, and blue. I don't want that. What I want is I just want it to fade in. So I'm gonna text back to ChatGPT here and say, can we make it so that boom. And it's gonna spit back an answer to me. So we're gonna use the fade in on keyframes. All right, so let's take a look and, and let's test this out. So it's essentially giving me this style code here. So I'm going to copy this CSS. We're gonna go into our high level account. We're gonna create a new funnel. Testing animations. And we're gonna create the funnel. We're gonna add a new step. Testing, and we're gonna create that funnel step. We're gonna create from blank, and it's gonna give us an absolutely blank funnel here, full width, add row, one column, and we're gonna add one headline in here. So, now what my goal is, is I want this headline uh, to fade in as soon as we load the page over a four second period. So, we got that code from ChatGPT, and we're going to go into our custom CSS, paste this in here and we are going to hit save. Now the thing that we're going to do is we since we want this headline to fade in we're going to go into the we're going to click on that headline specifically we're going to click on advanced scroll down grab our CSS selector go back custom CSS and we're going to change this out right here oops we're going to copy that. We're gonna change this out right here. And we are going to hit save. We're gonna save this here. And we're gonna hit preview. Now, you did see that load in, but we do have some errors going on up here. And what that comes from is because I included the style tags here. So let's get rid of that and get rid of this. We're gonna hit yes, save, and save again. Let's open this back up, refresh. 
and boom, we have something coming across in four seconds. It's loading uh, just as if you want it. Now, you could do the same thing and you can break this down into, let's say, eight seconds if you want. Hit yes, save, save, and you can do the same thing, but over an eight second period. It's absolutely insane what you're able to do with ChatGPT. I'm blown away every single day by the different prompts that I'm able to send to it and ask it and what it spits back to me. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. Now, if you want to be able to use this inside of your own funnels, super simple. I'm gonna include a link down below uh, where you can go onto my page and you can just copy the code uh, verbatim. You just take the code, it's absolutely free, and just hop onto my website, on, onto the link below, grab that code and install it according to this. Very simple. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for the next videos.